Hi guys, welcome back. I thought it would be really nice to have a little sit down video because I know it is the 23rd of December so either you are fully relaxed and you're just getting on with life because you've got everything sorted out, everything's finished or you're the complete opposite and you're just running around like a headless chicken <laughs> trying to finish everything off so I thought I'll go with the latter and um, plus I thought it would be nice to sit down and go through some old sketchbooks I found when my parents came up to visit, they dropped off some of my old sketchbooks from school, college, university, just because I like to look back at them, especially when it comes to when you have like a, I want to say brain fart or that creative block. I'm not going to go through them all because we would be here all day. So I've just selected a couple, a few of them to go through and maybe explain a little bit. And plus, I can't actually remember what's in half of them because some of them are from like 10, 12 years ago. So this will be quite a nice change and then we can also experience the whole thing all over again. And maybe even get the creative juices flowing and start doing some artwork at this late period of time. So, this one is a little sketchbook. I have no idea when it's from. I'm gonna guess it's, it is from when I was at college. I did art and design at Bath College for two years and I really thoroughly enjoyed it. I did a year of sixth form and then realised it wasn't for me but I carried on doing it, all the exams and then decided to go, no this isn't for me. Um, I didn't feel grown up enough, I just felt like I went straight from secondary school into a, like a weird kind of secondary school where you wore your own clothes <laughs> basically. So I believe this project is about design and we've actually got the sheet here that is why it's called art and design believe it or not so i think this one this project was the aim of it was that you made packaging for a perf for a perfume brand so as always oh my word i just had this thing with having several different handwriting styles <laughs> we've got beyonce there we've got gucci guilty Oh god, does anyone remember any of these perfume bottles? Because I do not. I didn't really wear perfume. I kind of was obsessed with Lady Gaga's perfume, The Fame, for it. But it was the only thing I, I wore. I've got a few others as well. Oh, I, I've still got that one, actually. My boyfriend bought me Daisy Flower Power a good few years ago. And I've still got most of the perfume in it. Because I, I don't barely use it. I do use it. It's just a massive bottle. And then we've got some little bits we got loads of logos uh -huh. so this is me trying to work out a logo for my design Ingenious. <laughs> so cliche. But I suppose that's what most of the perfume industry is like. I used to love doing research development because when you researched a vast majority of products, it was kind of very similar of how I worked with fine art. You researched an idea and then you come up at the end to a solution to it or like a final piece. And it was just, it was always fascinating for me. Don't know why. Also, Marc Jacobs again is here. <laughs> Marc Jacobs and Daisy. Oh yeah, we got to go to a, a packaging museum. I've got a little foldy out bit there. Yeah, so these are like segments of famous f fonts. Not fonts, um, brands. I believe. Oh, that one's def that that one there is definitely Coca Cola. <laughs> That's probably the Pritt stick. I'm not sure about the rest of it. I think that might be Dove. I'm not sure. That's strange. Got some lovely information about packaging as well. I suppose this is more market research, isn't it? You got trying to figure out Photoshop. <laughs> I'm guessing. I used to love Photoshop when I was a kid because it was just, you knew the basics of it and then anything else, you just experiment with it. 
and you'd create some really wacky designs. Still going with the ingenious name and well, <laughs> so much colour. Do I want the title to emerge like that or do I want it to be like that? I suppose. Some segments of it and some more logo designs as well. That reminds me a lot of Gucci, I don't know why. I think I was trying to combine it all. I actually quite like that one. It kind of reminds me of a, a Greek letter. And that one as well, I don't know why, but I feel like that's not a perfume brand. I wonder which one I went for in the end. Um, this might be the telltale sign for what I went for. Might have been that one. I love the folding out pages in this, don't I? Ooh, that's cool. Repetition of the the name, but in different colours. I like that effect. It's just rather calming, but exclusive, should we say. Oh, God, I went a bit manic on this side as well. <laughs> that's just a little bit too much. I think I just had more fun with the repetition rather than anything else. <laughs> oh, got, got a little pamphlet. Of the Museum of Brands, that must have been a day trip. Got some artist research. Obviously Andy Warhol and Jasper Jones comes into it. I used to love all these paintings and amazing things. I'm guessing that's America, I want to say. It looks like it. But just in different fonts. And then you've got... I always enjoyed this painting, not this painting, this print. I think it was actually a Lano print. What it stood for was quite, not barbaric, what's the right word for it? Demanding about Marilyn and how every single picture you take via photograph, you lose yourself, you, you lose a bit of yourself and the repetition of the print kind of basically explains that. You've got like a purse pristine side and then you've got the really dark bit and then you get lighter and lighter and lighter as you disappear because no single print is the same basically and i've got all i've got the packaging that i've tried to make <laughs> oh god i wonder if i've still actually got the packaging i suppose i could still make it on here and i've got me trying to work out how to fit it onto a cardboard box whether it goes all the way across or all the way like that Oh, and then we've got whatever this is. <laughs> I don't know what that barcode barcode is. Oh, I actually do have it. Look, that's the photographs of it, of the bottle. I remember saying it, being told by my tutor that, because I'm very mark makey and eccentric, should we say, in terms of mark making. <laughs> this was very subtle for me and she was actually quite proud because it was completely opposite and I did follow the structure of what I was given. So I think I got a D for this as in like a distinction. Because it was marked in it that way. And then release the genie in you. <laughs> well, to add my catch phone. I don't know what that means. I had to open my photo up in Photoshop and add text. Oh, catch phrase. I, I read it as catch phone and I was like, oh my god, I can't even spell. Wow. God, I'm actually quite proud of myself. It's it's funny how much comes back to you. And I've got like a conclusion that we always had to write for each project. And we actually got given a bottle design. I think I just got told to put that in there to make it a, <laughs> a better grade towards the end. Oh, that is really a blast from the past. I can't believe that. See, I used, ever since I left university, I tried doing a sketchbook, but I realised I was doing, only doing the sketchbook for other people. Whereas now, it feels more like YouTube is my virtual sketchbook. Oh. I'm actually pleasantly surprised at this. I mean, it took me 12 minutes to get through this, <laughs> just this one sketchbook. I was planning to do more, but I think... It would be a lovely little thing to carry on because I have so many. And it was quite a nice surprise for me. I actually feel quite warm inside, which is 
lovely. I just have all these flooding emotions of being back at college and literally doing what I wanted within this world. Oh god. It's, such, it's literally just the little things nowadays, isn't it? Like a cup of tea. When you come in from a hot, cold day and the other half's got a cup of tea. Before you're ready. I remember being at college thinking, oh, I can't wait to go to university because it's like proper gonna be all me. I get to do what I want, etc, etc. But now I'm just like... College was quite cool, actually. <laughs> wow. You know what? This is going to lend on to my second part of this video, which is I basically wanted to tell you what's happening for next year because I have a couple of things in my mind that I want to do. Not to just improve my channel, but to also improve the content, include improve my mental stability, she would say. I basically, if it's possible want to go up to four videos a week having the Wednesday off so I've got Monday, uh, got Monday, Tuesday, Thursday and Friday for video uploads so on Mondays I'd really like to have my usual ASMR videos with the little pieces of paper and mixed media pieces because it's just one of those observational skills that I like to keep because it is so informative and fabulous <laughs> to do. After today's sketchbook i would really love to do the sketchbook on one of the other days so i'm also writing this down because i find not only if i would speak out loud also triggers things in my head <laughs> you may think that actually i don't have enough sketchbooks to cover the rest of the year but there will be segments that i can go back to and towards because i actually do have a lot of old artwork so that'll be a lovely nice sit down video because some of them aren't actually this big, they are a lot bigger and full of a lot more content. I don't want to overflow a video with a certain amount. If it needs two different videos then that's absolutely fine. The main part of the vlog is I'm hoping when, especially when the weather gets better, that I can go out and do some sit down drawings amongst the environment because I find that they are so amazing and, and to be honest I quite like the idea of doing it behind the scenes as well because now that I have some of my actual sketchbooks and <coughs> sculptures that actually are meant to be for outside you can see me how I operate when I have time to do my art so from packaging from doing curator space applications from anything really anything to do with art related when I get to go do art art exhibitions as well and also art research because once again if I'm filming it I feel like I'm actually doing it and it just makes you like you should see my face right now I'm so happy right now <laughs> and then for my final one I would really like just to do a sit down artwork where I just do a still life drawing or anything in between acrylic pour painting drawing print anything that excites me <laughs> in terms of artistry because it's just one of those things and if I want to I can add in another video during that week if I've got time god this has got me really excited I kind of just want to start painting something to do with that eight what did, I, what did he actually do that for oh it's a, it's a print primary colors okay so from guessing from what the writing I've done it is an eight to keep your mind going but it's use the primary colours to keep you interested and because they are the primary colours they just draw everything towards you. I think I'm going to leave it at that guys. <laughs> I hope I haven't chewed your ear off and I hope you found this insightful because I have. I really thoroughly enjoyed going through my sketchbook today and I'm, I'm hoping it's kind of helped someone out there especially with research or what life is like after your education. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll very gladly answer them for you. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. And don't forget to check out my links in my description box. It has my social medias, it has my EPSL account, which is where you'll find all my artworks that I feature on my channel for sale, as well as a couple of the extra bits as well. But yeah, I shall see you for tomorrow's final video. And... My god, I can't believe it's almost over. <laughs> oh god. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.